Hi guys, I was just about <laughs> I was just about to close the door on you. You're in the cabinet right now. Um, don't mind me. I am gonna wash my coffee mug or I'm gonna rinse it so I can make myself more coffee because it's quarter after three and it's time for more coffee. Anyway, yeah, I started making a second cup of coffee on some days, especially when I know I have to do like. Uh, like computer stuff at night. What am I doing? Oh my gosh. Otherwise, I am like so tired that I don't even want to like do work after the kids go to bed. So here's coffee. Anyway, I wanted to pick up the camera and just vlog a little bit today, even though it's already three o'clock, the day's halfway over. I feel like this time is like the only time I can really pick up the camera and talk to you. Otherwise, you know, Chase and Noah are down here and there's just like constant noise and interruptions and everything so i just wait for them to go upstairs and then i can pick up the camera and talk to you guys about some stuff i have been doing dishes for the past couple days so yeah i got some dishes here from last night and from breakfast did those dishes hand wash them is what i'm talking about i'm hand washing dishes again i got more dishes in here from lunch and that pot was actually from last night that i didn't do but it's definitely been a while since i've had to hand wash dishes but what happened was kind of scary we avoided a potentially very bad situation um so it was like 3 30 in the morning i was upstairs sleeping greg was awake because he's been having insomnia some nights so he was up really late i think he was in the basement or something but he came upstairs and he must have smelled something weird like right away he ran upstairs to come wake me up comes into the room wakes me up he's like jill jill wake up come downstairs He's like, I think there's a fire, or he said he smells something weird. I forget exactly what he said, but I know I heard the word fire, and I was like, oh my god, like my heart like sank. I automatically got like shaky, just like you know that like panicky feeling that you get. So ran downstairs really quick, and as soon as I don't even know, I think it was like it was strongest in the kitchen. I don't remember if I smelled it in the living room at all, but as soon as you got into the kitchen, it was just like such a strong weird smell, and it didn't really smell like smoke. But it smelled it kinda it smelled like something burning, but not really I don't know. So we were just like we were just like sniffing around the kitchen and Greg didn't have his glasses on, so he said he couldn't tell like if it was smoking in the kitchen or not, and it wasn't I grabbed my glasses before I came downstairs. Um but yeah, it wasn't smoky in here and at first we thought it was this because there's like a light underneath. And that's sticky under there. <laughs> to clean that. Um but there's like, we found out that there's like a microwave light and I left that on for the first time because we had been leaving like, um, like one of the kitchen lights on at night and like dimming it a lot just in case like somebody came downstairs or Madison got up or something, she'd have a little bit of light. But I left this light on for the first time and it was like really, really hot under there. And at first I was like, that's gotta be it. Like it's gotta be like smoking or burning or something inside of there. So we turned that off, but sorry, my arm's getting tired. Hold on. Rest my arm. Stretch. <laughs> so we turned that light off and then we were like, all right, well, let's just open a window, air it out in here and see if the smell goes away. So we opened the slider door for a little bit and like a lot of air was coming in and we closed it and I was like, no, I can still smell it. So I was just like sniffing around and came over here, like kind of by the sink and the, di the dishwasher. And I don't know what made me open the dishwasher. I think I was I don't know, I, was, I thought it was done or so, something made me open the dishwasher, I don't know. But as soon as I opened it up, it was just like a whiff, just like huge, like disgusting, like burning smell in my face. Um, and so yeah, that's what it was. Let me show you what happened. We had a, a part that was melting in our dishwasher. This is the part, this is the part that goes on the bottom and there's this piece too, they kind of like, I'm not sure how exactly they fit together, but they fit together down there and I, I guess this is where the water spins out. Well, what happened was one of these little lids was down here on the bottom, like it fell through to the bottom. And we think what happened is somehow it knocked this off and then it knocked this off and then this was just like resting, it was like tipped over resting against this black ring down here and that thing gets like super super hot like that was what was like they were drying it was on like heat dry or something so it was really really hot in there enough to melt it like that you can see where that is all melted through it kind of looks 
a little burned. Oh, I think it's focusing. I'm trying to get it to focus like closer to show you guys, but you can see where it's so melted right there, like straight through. This is what it's supposed to look like. That piece right there, it's supposed to look like that. And even this, even this got melted a little bit. You can see where this one is melted a little bit too, but not as bad. And it looks like it's kind of like a burned too, so. So yeah, right now we have no dishwasher, which is fine. Um, I'm just glad that that, obviously really glad that that didn't catch fire. I don't know if it would have caught fire. I guess it's possible. It did not smell good in here, I'll tell you that. But that could have just been like, that was just the plastic melting, but I don't know. Could that have caused a dishwasher fire? Maybe do dishwashers normally? Well, not normally, but is a dishwasher fire like a common thing? I have no idea. As far as like household fires go, I have no idea. Um, but thank goodness Greg was awake because if he wasn't, I don't know what would have happened. I think that I think it had like another hour to go in the dishwasher. I'm surprised there wasn't like some automatic like shut off thing where like if it wasn't functioning right because that was that wasn't well it wasn't supposed to be spinning. I don't think it was just heating. So I don't know. I was thinking there should be some auto turn off thing if something is going wrong, but I don't know. I mean, obviously we have smoke detectors and stuff, but I'm glad I didn't get to that point where it was actually smoking or a fire in here. So anyway, that was scary. And then, so yeah, we figured out what it was and then we went back to bed and I couldn't fall asleep for like another hour because I just kept smelling it. Like it, the smell was just like traveling through the house. And then I was like, oh, what if we, what if we missed something? What if something's still wrong? Like inside the dishwasher that we didn't see. And then like we both came downstairs and like checked it out again, made sure it was good, opened up a window and yeah. So the smell was, the smell was like traveling through the house, but we had to like air it out in here. But anyway, so that is what happened. So I guess my tip is to make sure that nothing small can fall down into your dishwasher. So when we get this fixed, we already ordered the part for it. Um, I'm definitely gonna make sure that these things and anything else that's small that could fall down, even if you don't think it will, um, put it in like a basket or something. And I have the basket thing. I have, I have this thing, so I don't know. I, I would put like Noah's like sippy cup, uh, like spouts in here and stuff and sometimes I'd put those in there but sometimes it would be full and then I would just throw it like in here but it just like went right through so here we go we learned a lesson there but that is the story with that so yeah anyway I feel like I have a million and one projects going on at once in our house and I haven't finished anything yet um for one painting and just doing any type of work in a house with kids is really hard. I'm trying to get Madison's room done. That was like the room that I wanted to do during this whole quarantine thing, um, which is still going on. So I could still be able to do it, but I don't know. I feel like I just need to do it at nighttime, like after everybody goes to sleep. So I said to her yesterday, I was like, maybe you need to just like sleep upstairs with Chase for a few nights <laughs> so that I can work on your room like after everybody goes to bed, but I don't know. I also don't want to do it at nighttime because I'm tired and I don't really want to start painting at night. I just want to do it during the day like normal people do, but when you have to take, it, take, care, of, take care of your kids all day, there's like no time to do that kind of stuff. But anyway, another project, well not a project, but another idea that I have is that I'm trying to figure out a solution to having a pile of laundry on the floor all the time. I need another laundry basket. So I was trying to find if Target had laundry baskets that I could do like a order pickup or whatever. But then I was like, you know what? I just don't want to have like our laundry basket out all the time or something. I don't know. And sometimes I have like, I have like more than one pile of laundry. Like I have towels, they're separate. I have like clothes, I have sheets sometimes. So I was trying to think if I could somehow use this shelf for like laundry baskets because like this kind of basket will fit on the shelf but then i was like well you know what am i going to do with all this stuff well we have a linen closet which is taken up with a vent <laughs> because this didn't used to be here when we bought the house there were shelves in here and you can see like these were on both sides and there were shelves um well they had to take that those actually might still be there i don't know i don't think they are but this got put in because it's the vent which used to be on the floor when we bought the house there was a vent on the floor like right here and we 
relocated it. So we relocated it into the closet, but we lost like the linen closet shelves. So anyway, I was thinking that I could maybe put some shelves in here, but like not I'm trying to explain what I mean, like bracket shelves, you know, like where it's just like bracket, bracket, and then the shelf is like on top. So instead of it being hooked to the sides of the wall, there's just like brackets. I was thinking about doing that and then I could move a lot of the stuff from that closet into here. But then do I want to take up like that whole, basically like that whole closet shelf thing with laundry? But I also just don't want the laundry in the playroom anymore. Like I'm tired of just seeing piles of laundry everywhere. What do you guys do with your laundry? Do you have like, if I had laundry on the main level, that would be perfect because I'd probably like figure out somewhere by the machines to keep the laundry. But the laundry is in the basement and I'm not going to keep going downstairs all the time to throw laundry into the hampers if they're downstairs. And I don't think I want hampers in everyone's rooms because then whenever I do laundry, I have to go around to all the rooms and collect laundry and that just seems annoying. So I don't know. I'm trying to figure out the laundry situation. I don't like, I want the playroom to be cute this time. In the old house, it was just like a mess of everything, that room. And I just want this room to, this playroom to be cute eventually. Like I'm gonna paint it, I'm gonna get a little rug. And I just don't want like piles of laundry everywhere. So yeah, trying to figure out that. Say hi Noah. <laughs> so it is five o'clock, I'm making Noah some dinner. He usually eats earlier than us. He's just on the schedule where he, he's hungry at five o'clock. So it works out good because I can feed him dinner and focus on him and then feed the rest of us dinner. Um, and we've been having like the weirdest dinners too, like I've kind of been off the hook for dinner a lot because I haven't been able to do like regular grocery shopping, so I haven't had like the meals, the stuff to make the meals that I would normally make. Uh, but I am going to try to do a grocery order soon and see, can I have that? Okay, now I have that. See if I can get a time slot for a grocery order so I can finally get some normal food in our house. But anyway, I am heating up the air fryer. We love the air fryer. I love the air fryer. I honestly thought it was going to be like a gimmick. Not, not a gimmick. I thought it, when Greg bought it, I thought it was just going to be something that like we never used, but I use that thing like all the time. More than I use the oven, I use the air fryer, but I'm going to make him, I'm going to make him some chicken nuggets and green beans or broccoli or something. Hopefully he'll eat that. Um, oh yeah? What else? <laughs> Say yes. Are you hungry? Say yes. <laughs> so it's like 9 30 now i just took a shower i'm gonna sit down and edit this video and do some dishes after that probably fold some laundry but i got this scraper tool out because i have been wanting to do something all day and i keep not getting a chance to do it i'm gonna take you in the bathroom into the bathroom with me and show you something okay so i think you guys can probably tell this floor is pretty crummy. <laughs> I want to get a new floor in here eventually. I want to like redo this whole bathroom and get like a new tub and redo the tile and all of that. And that's probably when we'll do the floor. But I have noticed that this is like gapping. Like there's nothing here between, I guess they had caulked it at one point, but the caulk has like come off or I don't even know what that is. It looks like it might be paint or something. I don't know, did they paint the tub? I have no idea. But there's a gap here between the floor and the tub and whenever like Chase and Noah are taking a bath or anything really, water drips down and drips behind there so like it drips down. So I'm really curious what the wood looks like under here and I lifted it up a little bit before. Uh yeah. That looks friggin disgusting. That is what it looks like. Ew. Yeah, that has to be mold, right? That's gotta be. I have to do something to keep this down or something. I'm really curious what it's like over here though. That's not gonna work. What is that? I need a flashlight. It's just like crumbling. What the heck? That can't just be the floor. It honestly looks like sticks. It looks like crumbly sticks.
and we'll just put that back. <laughs> wow. I don't even know. I feel like we can't keep doing stuff to this house. Like, we need to stop because there's been so much that we've had to do in here. Like, I can't even think of everything that we've done since we've moved in, and we've only been here for two months, but... I feel like it's not like a whole, I feel like the whole floor isn't like that under here. It's just like by the tub because they kept letting water drip there and drip there and drip there for however long. And now the floor is crumbling. So anyway, I just had to know what the heck was going on in there because every time I go in the bathroom and I see that, I'm just like, that doesn't look good. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed taking a little peek at that with me. And I am going to end this here. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.